Hi there and welcome to another episode of PilotClan.com. In today's video we are going to talk about the Leading Edge Device Annunciator Panel. So just to make sure we know what we're talking about is this panel in here where it says LE means Leading Edge Devices and this is the panel. Okay, if you click the test button in there you can see the lights in there so what we're gonna do we're gonna talk a little bit about the leading edge of the plane because i made a separate video where i explain what uh, these leading edge devices are and why they're so important and then we're gonna see extending the flap what will happen to this panel and what will happen to the wing of the plane okay so without further ado let's jump right into it V1. Hi there, I'm Gabriel from PilotClimb.com. I help you to become a better pilot, so if you want to support my job, please give it a like to the video. And if you want to uh, take your uh, flight skill to the next level, consider go to PilotClimb.com where you can actually uh, book a private pilot training session with me. Okay, we're gonna do online you know, regardless of your level of experience. Okay, you can be a student pilot or a flight simmer. Go to pilotclimb.com and check the services. Okay, guys, too much talking. Let's talk about this panel, okay? So first of all, this panel in there, guys, okay, as you can see, here is this panel which is on top of the head of the captain, okay? Why is this panel important? This panel is important because it tells you exactly what's the story, what's the situation with the leading edge devices. Okay, guys, we need to understand that the leading edge devices we've got in the case of the Boeing 737, we've got slats and flaps. So on the on the uh, on the front of the wing, okay, on the leading edge, on the front of the wing, you have these movable parts, okay, these leading edge uh, devices that helps basically. What are them? These leading edge devices are uh, eye lift devices that helps the pilot during slow flight, okay, in order to increase the coefficient of lift, okay. So what happens is that uh, basically they help the aircraft with the stall speed, okay. They allow the the aircraft to fly slower, okay, before stalling, okay. So let let me show you what are these leading edge devices. So let me take this. Uh, camera from outside and as you can see this is the leading edge of the wing okay so we've got in this case the right wing and in this case the left wing so as you can see in here the wing is clean okay because we don't have any uh, any device extended okay any slat or flap extended okay what I want to make sure now that we're gonna have a look is uh, what happens when you extend the flaps, okay? When you extend the trailing edge, the trailing edge flaps, okay? The trailing edge flaps, guys, are the movable part, the devices that are at the back of the wing, okay? So if I come in here again, sorry, if I take this one, so this part, okay, is the trailing edge flaps, and this one is the leading edge uh, flap, slats, these ones, and flap, this one. Okay, so this part is leading edge slats and this part is the flap, leading edge flap. But I'll show you in a second what I mean, okay? Again, it might change depending on the aircraft type, but today we are going to talk about the Boeing 737. Okay, so in order to extend the flaps, I'm going to go like this, okay? So I'm going to extend the flap and I'm going to show you what, where are these leading edge devices. So let me put the flaps to 15, okay? And if I go like that now, let me see, yeah? Here we go. So as you can see in here, look, look what's going on in here. Okay, so now we have got this part of the wing, which is the leading edge part, okay? L you see, it's actually extended. This is the leading edge slot that is extended, okay? So as you can see, it's not a clean wing anymore, but it's actually went down, okay? This is the, these are the leading edge slots, all right? And the part that is after or internal, okay, closer to the fuselage, in this case, we've got the flaps in there. This is the leading edge flap, okay? So if you go on the other wing, you can clearly see the leading edge flap and the, and the, and the leading edge slats, okay? Guys, again, I made a separate video where I, where I tell you exactly what are the, what are these, uh, these devices, okay? Go there and check that video because in there I talk about the coefficient of lift, why we have them on board. But in today's video, the target is to understand what is this panel in there, okay? 
beautiful so what i want to make sure guys that is important is that you understand this panel the lady edge the lady edge devices associator panel okay if i click that test in there okay it's going to illuminate all the lights all right so let's analyze what is this panel okay at the moment we've got these lights in there let me retract the flaps so we can actually uh, start with the zero lights in there okay so i retract all the flaps here we go so the flaps now are up and i'll show you what happened to the to the leading edge devices so as you can see this is the leading edge slot and the leading edge flap so the leading edge slot is retracting and the flap as well is retracting as you can see okay here we go so now as you can see we've got a clean wing again okay completely clean because the leading edge devices they actually retract okay so in fact if you look now all the lights are off okay so look it is very important to read this panel because it says leading edge devices flaps so the flaps are the two uh, devices that extended the one that are close to the fuselage okay and we've got two leading edge uh, flaps okay one two three and four so two per each wings okay so four in total and then we've got eight slots so four per wing okay four five six seven eight all right so now it says transit so whenever these uh, devices are in transit so now we've got them uh, retracted but if we extend their trailing edge flap the leading the leading edge device will start to extend does the, the when they are extended that means they're in transit it does when you put from flap up to flap one you will see that this row of light will start to illuminate it because we is, is telling us that the leading edge devices are in transit are extending or retracting one of the two in our case since our flaps are up as you can see in here we need to extend so that means that when we extend the trailing edge flap to flap one we will see that this light is telling us that it is in transit but it's, they are extending okay now very important is that we've got two type of indications in here it says echo x ray tango extended means or fully extended okay so now if you look in here it says the flaps one two three and four that leading edge flaps can go only to the full extended mode so they we, they don't have any intermediate uh, extension mode so they only go from retract to full extended and this slot they have they can be either extended or full extended depending on the trailing edge uh, flaps right so depending on the model of the boeing 737 okay uh, we have the leading edge slats they go to the extended position when you select the trailing edge flaps from flap one to flap five so when you select from flap one so from zero flap one two and five when you go from flap up to flap sorry from flap one to flap five the leading edge slats they go to the extended position so you will see that these lights only will illuminate so we're gonna have these lights in there okay the lights about the leading edge flaps and the, the lights about the extended position of the leading edge slats okay then once you actually select flaps more than five so you go from five to 10 15 25 and so on what will happen is that the leading edge flap will stay the same since they are already full extended but the tray the sorry the leading edge slats okay they will pass they will go from the extended position to the fully extended position okay again guys it depends on the Boeing 737 model, guys, because some Boeing 737 models, okay, they, when you select flap 1, flap 2, or flap 5, what will happen is that the slot will go into the extended mode, so you're going to have only these lights in there, okay, and the flaps, the leading edge flaps, they will go full extended. So, let's say from flap 1, 2, and 5, you're going to have leading edge flap full extended and leading edge slot extended, okay? Then if you select flap 10, 15, 25, 30, and 40, and so on. So I'll show you in a second what I mean. In this case, okay, from flap, if you select 1, 2, and 5, the leading edge slot will go to the extended mode, and the leading edge flaps will go to the full extended mode. However, if you pass the flap 5, you're going to go 10, 15, 25, and so on. The leading edge devices will go to the fully extended mode. Thus, you're going to see these lights in at the bottom that illuminated as well okay 
However, some Boeing 737 model guys, they go, they have the leading edge slats, okay, they will stay until the, the extended position all the way down to flap 25 and they will go only to the full extended position, the leading edge slat I'm talking, okay, full extended position when you select flap 30 or 40. Alright, so it really depends on the model of the Boeing 737. So let's see, because I, I'm not aware of what, what is this model, okay? Let's see what is this model, what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna select flap, uh, fl let me select flap 1, okay? And then we see what happens. So this is flap 1 in there. Look, now transit light is on because the leading edge devices are actually in transit and I'll show you what, what I mean by that. So, because they are moving, they are going, they are extending, okay? So they, are, they went from the fully retract to the extended position now. In fact, if we look in here, what is it saying? It's saying that the, the, the leading edge flaps, they are already extended in full, okay? And the leading edge slats, they are in the extended position. Okay, so let me have a look again, okay? From here, so the flaps, the leading edge flaps, this part in here is full extended already, and the leading edge slats are in the extended mode okay let me let me try to figure it out yeah that's the the visual that i want okay the camera so as you can see guys in here we've got the leading edge the leading edge flaps is full extended and the leading edge slats is in extended mode okay okay guys so let me select flap five now all right so we are in here okay we've got flap one in there and as we saw we've got the uh, leading edge flap full extended and the leading edge slats which are in the extended mode if i come in here and select flap five guys here we go so we've got in there and we select flap two and flap five we will see that nothing will happen so as you can see the transit light is still extinguished and the leading edge uh, slat and flaps they didn't move at all because as we discussed earlier the position go from in this case from flap one two and five they are already in the in the same configuration okay but let me see if this is the model that if you go beyond flap five you're gonna have the leading edge slat that go, gonna go into the extended mode so let me put flap 15 and let's see Yes, in this case, as you can see, only the transit light of the leading edge slat is illuminated, okay? And now the leading edge slats are in full extended mode. So let me go back to the flat 5 position. So I'll show you. So if I go back to flat 5, let me see. You see? Okay, now we've got only the transit light on the leading edge slats are moving. And the now the slats are in extended mode because we've got flap 5, okay? So if I go back to flap 15, look at the panel. Now I'm selecting for 15, you look, so only the transit light of the leading edge slats are illuminated, okay? And now from flap 15, 25, 30, nothing will change, okay? Because the leading edge slats are already in a, a full extent and the leading edge flaps are already in extended mode, okay guys? So, as you can see in here, we've got full extended leading edge uh, slats, okay? They are all the way down, okay? As you can see in here, this is the slat in there, okay? And as you can see as well, the flaps are fully extended. Those are the flaps, okay? So if you want, what I can do, I'm gonna uh, retract the flaps completely now. Okay, let me retract the flaps completely. And then we, we look at the uh, outside to see how they retract. So as you can see, the leading edge devices are retracting now. It's gonna take a little bit of time, guys. It's not an immediate, it's not super fast, the retraction, okay? But slowly, slowly they retract, okay? There we go, so... Now, guys, perfect. And now the leading edge device annunciator panel is completely off because all the leading edge devices are retracted, okay? So, guys, I hope you now understand a bit better what is this leading edge and, and uh, device annunciator panel is and how it does it work, okay? If you have any questions, leave a comment below and then I will help you out. Also, go to pilotcrime.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content. I wish you a good day and I'll see you on the next one.